Well, most times these stories write themselves. You know, things start off and you think they're gonna be one thing, but a lot of times they end up being another. When the last opportunity you get for somebody to do a story on you to say the spotlight is growing dim on Clark, you think it's kinda over. Uh-huh. Not at all. Underestimated and still I made it In the book of hard knocks I'm highly educated Nobody told me looked over but still dedicated Played in the league for 13 I ain't gotta be favored Two Super Bowls, Honolulu I stood with the greatest The thing is this, it never rich I'm good with my neighbors DB precision, television ain't ask for no favors Numbers don't lie, neither do pictures Just look in the papers no backing down or turning back, part two of the movie Never the biggest, but it takes more than two just to move me Ain't gotta like what I'm saying, just watch me go to work And tackle all of these topics right here on Face First Hey, what's up everybody, man? Welcome to Face First uh, This is probably the most special episode we've ever had um, These are my two brothers uh, We played together for eight years We started together for eight years We had some ups like very, very few downs, um, but we did it all together. Uh, I got Ike Taylor, um, super, super great corner, uh, played for over a decade in the league. Appreciate uh, you, One of the toughest people I've ever been around. Uh, you know, he got us in a couple of fights, but it was cool, <laughs> it was cool. And, um, and Troy Apolamalu, uh, he's a Hall of Famer, Famer now uh, as a football player, but to us, like he was just always um, a Hall of Fame dude. And so just to have an opportunity to sit down with them, talk with them, kind of chop it up uh, is, to me, a dream. You know, I text them both uh, before this happened to, to get it to get to, to be done. Uh, and then I told TP this would be like the crowning achievement of my post-retirement life. Um, but people do not know this, right? So you guys are roommates as rookies. Um, and I heard through the grapevine that it was a very interesting first meeting. First date. So 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 who's gonna talk about first the date. first time you guys met? First date. First date, he came in a little bit late. I don't know if he was coming from California. Well, well you let me give my perspective okay. first. Yeah, you go my, first. My, my because perspective like, like the, the, the first a whole person. A lot of expectations. Right. Okay. I thought I'm in the NFL, you know, like Dude, we're presidential suite everything. You know what I'm like? <laughs> he was bougie. <laughs> I just made the assumption. Well, how that you be bougie it, coming from Oregon, though? No, but when you He's make it, Oregon. you make it. You know what I'm right, saying? Like, right. I thought I thought it was just like, so I'm going to my room, and I'm expecting like, oh, man. You like, thought I, you I were going to your room. I was excited. I was excited. I'm like, I can't wait to see this room. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, <sighs> and I opened the room. And not only am I disheartened by seeing two beds, <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. Appalled. <laughs> Appalled. Shot. Appalled. It was absolutely. When I hear, when I see toes, knees, and elbows, <laughs> just, <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> would I perceive somebody to uh, be doing sit ups uh, <laughs> on the far side of the second bed? And I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> so go, uh, go ahead. Uh, I, I, I'm wondering. What was like, so? Like, tell me like, though. Tell me though. So TP <laughs> walks in, bro. You doing sit ups? What pause. were you wearing? Though? But nothing at all. I just had about a show because I thought I had my own. You're <laughs> right. Okay. So, so you fourth think, round. You fourth round pick that year. You think you first round pick. Right. 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 I'm right. thinking two beds. I can lay. I can lay my. Uh, <laughs> Your clothes my on one bed. On one bed right, and sleep right. on the other. Right. I'm in that room by myself. So I wind up taking a shower. He made the same assumptions as me, man. <laughs> you live in it, man. Right. 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 <laughs> I put a towel down. I'm like, all right, cool. And you hear like. Right, right, right. You hit the key. Somebody coming through. I ain't going to stop what I'm doing because I'm doing these abs. Okay. <laughs> doing these abs, you pop in. I'm butt naked. So, wait, like, no draws? I hopped out the shower. So, oh no God. tights? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. But the crazy thing about That's it, interesting. I ain't stop no motion. He came, in, he came over the door. I looked. He looked at me. He said, I'm sorry. I said, you got the right room. <laughs> That's the truth. So, nah. So y'all have this meeting. I've been around y'all both enough enough to know that you are incredibly different humans. Yeah. Right. Like you are. Like your your two personalities. If I was like matching people, 
wouldn't necessarily be the personalities that I say these people become lifelong friends. Is it the yin and the yang? Maybe yin and yang. So, so what was the process like your rookie year and becoming, you know, close as you guys were? You know, I, I actually want to say that night. You know, um, that night, actually, it's funny. We were hungry, wanted to go get something to eat. <laughs> so we go downstairs to eat. And, um, you know, I'm learning new foods because my wife, you know, bougied me up a little bit and taught me, taught, yeah, yeah, taught me yeah, yeah. life a little bit. You elevated. So I'm elevated a little bit. So I'm like, man, I go to these restaurants. I'm ordering, uh, you know, all these different side dishes. But... Ike's never had any of these side dishes. At all. Right, you straight from Louisiana, 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 Coach. Like, that ain't, that ain't even what you do. Combo. Right. <laughs> Fried rice, rice and beans. That's Everything got rice, though. Everything got yeah. rice. But we're talking, like, the mushrooms and all that mozzarella, all that sort of stuff. Right. And Boozy stuff. Though. Yeah. Right. And Elevated, um, like you said. No, he's elevated, though. He's first-round pick this week. 16 pick in the draft. Like, he's different. <laughs> he's different than us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Him. Yeah, we, yeah. Like, he let us hang out. <laughs> yeah. Like, like we, we we became, like, his, his, his like, front workers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to send these two out on the front lines. They're going to get shot at. Take the, you know, take they the hit. They call them do boys. We're Man, I didn't know any of these foods hardly eat. That's the last thing I found it, dude. I'm first rounder, man. I just made it. Right, 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 right. You're right, supposed right. to order like this, man. Right. I'm disappointed. I didn't. So, yeah. all right. So, so, so y'all go out to eat that that first night. What's the conversation like, though? Dude from USC, another guy from ULL. What's the what's the conversation like? Like, like, what what do you share that that makes you become you know, friends in that way. So for, for, for me, I think honestly, it was the fact that we liked the food. <laughs> Where'd y'all eat? Well, it, it was like downstairs at the bar. You, you like ordered that, some man. calamari. And I, yeah. he was like, yo. Had you ever had calamari? No, but I told him, yeah. So you lied? Yeah. You lied. Okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I had <laughs> but then when I went back to the room and I looked it up, I was like, oh, this I'm is a squid. This is a squid. Right, right. This is, this is Which we don't do. We don't do. Like, we eat right. crawfish. So like, I'm if we're going to get something out the water, it's going to be crawfish. But how they, how they had it, I thought it was onion rings. <laughs> 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 they, they, they put it in like an onion ring form. I said, oh, yeah, these some small onion rings. I'm all the way good. Right. It's not onion rings, coach. L- little did I know, though. Yeah, it's not onion rings. <laughs> Right. All right, so y'all, so so y'all go out, y'all, y'all, you know, you bond, uh, you meet a naked dude on your floor, um, mm-hmm. doing uh, crunches or sit ups, and and then y'all have y'all rookie year. Like I, you know, I remember watching that team that year. I didn't see, you know, like y'all weren't stars. So what was the rookie year like? Oof, they blamed it on us because it was me, Troy. Alonzo Jackson, Brian St. Pierre, JT Wall. Okay. Only five. So okay. I, I think, did we go eight and eight? I think we went eight and eight. Okay. That year. So they said us rookies didn't do enough to help the team. Okay. So at the time, you know, I was, I was like, for me, I was like, F y'all, because I'm straight out of New Orleans and <laughs> You're I was right. already. Like, you ain't finna blame, you're not finna blame a whole season. And on. y'all been here. Right. And so y'all weren't can't. winning before. Yeah. So right. You can't do that. But you just had to suck it up and eat it. Understood the business part. But um just walking into the walking into the facility, you kinda knew he was special. He right. as in Troy. So, yeah. So okay. I right, question. So 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 he so, said so, you were special right, though. So you talked to me about like so, thinking you sucked your your rookie year though. Oh yeah, I did. It's actually funny. Um, Ike would put the speakerphone some, uh, on sometimes, and these, <laughs> <laughs> these ratchet girls, man, talk bad about me, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think, hey, think about Troy? Oh, he's sorry. He's the first round <laughs> busted. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> I stopped talking to her. <laughs> <laughs> She's not the one. She ain't the one. We can't, hey, look, we can't marry her. Yes, we can. Like, not. we can't marry her. Because <laughs> like, we talked so, about, you talk about, like, the off season. You said that you thought that you were well, going to have to retire? No, honestly, man, I, I was disappointed that I didn't get uh, – any MVP for offense votes. I gave up a touchdown a game, man. Like, like I should have been co MVP that year with Peyton Manning and uh, Steve McNair, man, because it was it was that bad of a year. I was giving up. Like, but, you know, now that I, 
I had the experience of a veteran. I can't imagine the frustration because all of my like my errors were just dumb mental errors, and then easy physical plays that should be made they weren't being made. <laughs> right. So like you know, as a veteran, I would look at a rookie and be like, man, this guy's got no future. You know? <laughs> right. Like right. Get, like like right. get him out of here. That's right. the sort of impatience I had with yourself. You know. Um, yeah. So, to me, that's that's. Um, that was kind of an indication of a whatever, but. Duh, so, okay. All right, so you, you go into the next year. Um, obviously, the next year, you end up being, you know, all pro. Uh, defensively, y'all were, y'all were crazy. Because, like, like, you know, we came there, you know, and we played against y'all. What was, so how, how do you take that next step? Was it, was it Coach LeBeau? Was it you? Like, just from a defensive standpoint. So that 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 first year was extremely frustrating because I also had high expectations, but I also more, more than anything it was disappointing the veterans. Okay, that to me was 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 something that I, I felt more of a failure. So in in a lot of respects, when the veterans or when I like this sort of dialogue was that the younger classmen weren't producing. That's mm-hmm. why we weren't good, I did feel a, a part of accountability to that. Um, so going into that off season, I, I doubted a lot of whether or not I wanted to even play anymore because um, I didn't like being in Pittsburgh. Uh, I wasn't successful at all. I didn't feel comfortable because I wasn't having any success. Um, so I, I just really just started working hard as in putting in a lot of time in the gym, therapy, eating really healthy, mm-hmm. doing all the really small things. That was when you had abs. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't yeah. know Troy with abs. That's when I was finally in shape. <laughs> <laughs> I never met Troy with abs. So to me, that's that's where personally it happened. Now, professionally, um, Coach LeBeau, it was Coach LeBeau's first year as well mm-hmm. as, as a coordinator. So uh, I think in alignment of the like, personal and professional kind of, for me personally, I think, uh, was a match. And I, I know now from my experience of Ike in his rookie year, mm-hmm. it was always interesting to me, uh, now that I have a hindsight look at it, Ike always had first-round expectations, although he was a, a fourth-rounder. Fourth right, right. Like, like it, there was an expectation for you to, 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 to be everything that I was expected to be, mm-hmm. you know. So, so to me, like that first year to us was like very equally very disappointing in mm-hmm. those ways. But I think internally we got a lot of confidence because what we really valued and what football players really value is we were actually really good on special teams. Right. Um, so that gained some respect of the veterans, but that also gave us a little bit of of, of confidence that man. It's we almost like I can do game. it, right? Like, 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 like I can do it. And so, like I remember, man, uh, we played you guys. I think it was 05, maybe 04, right? You guys were number one defense. Uh, we were number two at the time. Um, you know, I I make. Like everybody knows, like I, I have very few friends that I keep from the game, but, but Sean Taylor was one of my best friends, you know. And I just remember that week going into the game, the special team coach just kept telling them, like, hey, Sean, like, just be down first. Like, like you ain't got to make a tackle. Do y'all have any memories of watching him on tape? Uh, like like his rookie year, like special teams or playing, because that was the game he hit Willie Parker, and then he hit the PZ on the sideline. You know what I mean? Like, do you have any memory of, of watching him play? So for me, for Sean Taylor, it was watching him at Miami. Mm-hmm. And then when you watch his documentary after he passed, it was, dang, the man was on I-4, going seven, eight miles to a spot so he'll tell his homeboys, man, I'll meet y'all, but I'll meet y'all jogging right. on the interstate. So then you just backtrack and you look at it like, dang, Sean Taylor, in my mind, in, in, in my mind, and there's no disrespect to nobody else. Probably could have been one of the best if he would have played 10 to 12 years, one of the best NFL players of all time. You know, yeah. just looking at his talent, mm-hmm. Um, at a short amount of time. Mm-hmm. So for me, and, and I tell people this, and I tell my sons and my nephew, like, man, when you see it, you just got to acknowledge the right. greatness. Right. You know, you see Troy, you got to acknowledge greatness. Sure. You see Sean Taylor, you just got to acknowledge greatness. You see Ronnie Lott, you just got to mm-hmm. acknowledge greatness. You see Alan Fanica, you just got to acknowledge greatness. Right. So 
that that's that's what it was for me. So when I saw when I saw Sean, I'm like, then you telling me like how Sean was in practice, like yeah. coach, because that's one of your favorite words, like coach. <laughs> I call you all coach, right? Like coach, he had five or six picks every practice. Every practice, yes. So without even really trying, right? You know? So, but just just looking at a a specimen like Sean and then playing against him, I remember we was sitting on the sideline on one knee watching him play. Right. That's how it was like, okay, let's see, let's see what this Miami first round kid. Right. So what's crazy is, right? What's crazy is uh in that coverage and when he hit Willie Parker, I was the curl, I was the uh I was the half safety, right? So I actually so they ran a dig and a um an out and up, right? So they ran a wheel route. I was done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I I broke on a dig. I'm thinking I'm finna get a pick, you know what I mean? And then so the wheel comes and like you'll see me run into the play late. And he's actually like the other half safety, you know, and he hits Willie Parker. And then like I just remember like when he got up, I was like, holy hell, like, <laughs> like that's that that that's different, you know. And I think to for me to experience who Sean was and then get an opportunity to experience, you know, who you were, like it was one of those, like it was one of those great. Like ex- like just 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 great career moments for me to be a part of of, of both of your journeys, you know. So um, to directly answer your question about Sean, uh, I remember that game. Um, like like I was kind of actually referring to earlier is like the old school players really respect special teams like that's what like when you can play special teams not only that it's so hard to like really put it all on defense and play special teams Mm -hmm. that's what made james harrison really special so in regards to that game man that's what impressed me most Mm. he played all the special teams but he dominated every facet (laughs) right right. It, it was not only like dominating the plays he also had a physical presence that was extremely like domineering. It's like, man, I'm I'm here. This is my house. Right. Like, that that as well. Um, but in regards to him, particular as a player, uh, I to me when I studied the game, I studied the game. Uh, I studied the pass game. Okay. Like, I'm naturally a linebacker. Honestly, man, those flows like like hitting gaps. That's very easy for me. It, I humbly say this. Which there, I, there, no, there which were times I, hey, which I hated though, bro. Because like I would ask TP, I was like, TP, like, 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 what made you go there? He was like, Well, RC, if you look at the knuckles of the lineman, as soon as they, like, T, as soon as he started, I was like, Troy, shut the hell up. Like, I don't know nothing about that. So like the 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 run game was something that was just it, very instinctual to me. Mm-hmm. I studied the pass game. Okay, so when I look at somebody like uh, like like him, it it. it it's it's amazing because I he had the feel of the run game that I I had right right he had the feel of the pass game that Ed had mm-hmm. but not only was he able to do both of those he was always he was also able to lock down the number one receiver yeah. as a corner he he really was right so to me that was the next evolution or perhaps a reincarnation of somebody like Ronnie Lott right but then you have a six three six four you know like two twenty five yeah. right two thirty right. R- so I always tell people, man, don't ever watch his film because it's it's misleading. Because you, can't, you he, can't duplicate that. You can't duplicate right. that sort of like a, that sort of thing. Because I, I watched it every, but it was just more or less like more in awe and, and like waiting for him to make a mistake to see that he was human. <laughs> Saying, oh, right. You know, right. he made a mistake. Right, I can make right. a mistake. Right, right, right. <laughs> So that to me was what made him very special because I, I remember one play in particular where he was man to man with Chad Ochocinco mm-hmm. and picked the ball off. Yep. Not, not a pass breaker, but picked the ball off. I remember. Um, these to me is like when I got on those situations, like the quarterback was like, I'm throwing at 43. I'm going throw at 43. That's the difference. You, you know what I mean? There's What's there, so crazy there, is, though, like you're you're talking about that play. So we playing that the entire week because I was still in Washington at the time. Playing that the entire week. We was like, hey, they, they're going to start three by one. Sean, if they start three by one, you're going to go play corner on Chad. And it was like, RC, you'll just flow over the top. And, like, I just remember the whole week because, you know, I studied a ton of film. I was like, ooh, they're going to see Sean. They're going to throw it. And I'm going to get a pick. I was like, they're going to take the chance. You know what I mean? And then, like, I remember uh, coming in on Monday telling the safeties coach, 
I was like, hey man, I was gonna pick that. He's like, no, you wasn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's like, Sean was gonna pick that the whole time. Like we already knew. But I think like that is like 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 that was one of the things about him yeah. to me that was different. You know? Yeah, like like special, like like Lawrence Taylor special. Yes. Right. Like 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 yeah. like like um, you know, Joe Green special. That, right. That's yeah. how special Junior, his talent was. Like like Junior had a little bit of that. Junior Seau had a little bit of like Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. like 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 I, I can do things from this position that other people can't. Sean yeah, was yeah. different, bro. He was different. Yeah. Sean was But then play different. every position equally well, I think, is 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 that like the right. free, the strong right. linebacker. Sean could have went outside linebacker. <laughs> like do every, he did everything. Yeah, he, so he, I he, remember, he, man. I remember just be, be before every game being supremely confident that I knew he was on my team. You know what I'm saying? That, oh, that, man. that like whatever he played how he looked. He played how he looked. Yeah, you know. He did. And so, okay, so that year you guys go 15 and 1 but by the way uh your guys' offense was like a old school tech mobile <laughs> <laughs> bro 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 we were so just say I them. so like i would i would watch it happen right we put james thrash on the field and then like another wide receiver we'd motion james thrash down into the box to block to create max protection you know what i mean like it was no we lost games like 12 11 you know what i'm saying and six yep. to four, but so so y'all go fifteen and one that year, and you lose. I, I also got to get to mention, man, dude. Can you imagine also Sean on one side and then Laurent Landry. Landry on the other side? Crazy! It was crazy. Those two meant, for man, top, top it was five crazy. Picks. My goodness! Like like, like yeah. the the fifth and sixth pick of the draft yes. at safety yes. playing yeah. together. Like yes. that that was like like, but that was what Greg Williams was trying to create, but. So I remember playing y'all that year. Uh, that was the year like Jerome really went crazy. Uh, Deuce was running really well, but y'all lose in the playoffs that year. I think it was to the Patriots, right? Yes. In, in the AFC Championship, At home, right? Right. Yeah, so 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 what was that like, dog? Like like how do you feel? Because y'all absolutely <laughs> had to feel like y'all was gonna win the Super Bowl that year. No, we felt like defense did enough. <laughs> Like the keep one hundred with you, we just felt like defense did enough. Well, obviously we didn't because we lost, and that's just was the mentality from Dicky. Like I, I tell people all the time, like Dick LeBeau, you know, we always had goals, personal goals, whether it was getting money, whether it was getting Super Bowls, but not letting Dicky down was one of the goals. Right. Like right. Don't care where you're from, don't care what round you went. Like that's how Dick LeBeau. That's how much Dick LeBeau meant That's how it mattered. That's how much so, it mattered, right. You know, you just added him on to one of your goals. Like, mm-hmm. man, I just don't want to let Dick it down, especially coming from the secondary. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was hard on us, but he didn't encourage, he didn't really yell. Like, you know, when he talked to you, and he talked to me often, he talked to me softly. <laughs> right. Every time, he, every time I saw him walking through, Coming to see me, I'm like, man, this knife about to cut me deep. Right, right, right. Because he's not, a, he's not about to be loud about it. He's right, he's just, about he's to like, no. Me. So, so whatever he's telling me, it matters to him. It matters to him, but right? It, but it hurts because I looked at him like, dad, grandpa. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? So, that, that was that was a true meaning of, of of Dick LeBeau and why he's in the Hall of Fame as well. But I mean, just 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 that season, us losing. Um, to the Patriots, we were still young, mm-hmm. so we felt like we always had time. Yeah, the shot. I don't think, you know, Troy and I took anything for granted mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that year. Mm-hmm. Like we understood that part. Because um, that was your first year starting too. Correct. Right. Okay. That was that was my first year. It was starting. also Ben's first year starting. I correct. Think, as well. Yeah. Yeah. So Cause what, y'all started the year with uh, Tommy Maddox, right? Yep. Correct. Because okay. Tommy got hurt. Tommy, Tommy got wound hurt. up getting hurt. Ben came in. He took right. over from that. Yeah. And so, like, that's the – and so, like, that was – like, I remember watching Ben that year. Like, I wasn't even tripping. I was like, this guy's not actually – he's actually not that good. Right. And now, now that was just my thought. I was like, they're going to win on defense. They're going to win on run game, those things. And so, like, I remember talking to TP. Once he made I, the play when you needed him. He absolutely did. Play. Absolutely like, did. He extended the play. Like, as far as, like, sitting, in the, sitting, sitting down in the saddle and getting it, no, not at that time. Mm-hmm. But when you needed a play – he was able right. And I, that that I playoff know. run is when he really started making. Correct. Plays. He woke up. Yeah, so you're yeah. saying like the the next year when y'all that, won the Super Bowl? Uh, I, oh, actually, no, that year. Um, no, the no, no, no. Year. I'm going to say it was actually the next year is the when next year? because that yeah, next that, year. that year actually we barely beat. I think it was the first time that that a team had ever won 
scoring on defense and scoring on special teams, and we still won a game against the New York Jets. Okay. So that, that game— Was that the playoff game you talking about? That's a playoff I game. I remember that, yep. Before the Patriots Yep, game. I remember that. Um, but, again, going back to that year, I think the reason why we also had a lot of confidence is uh, in the middle of the year, we were around 6-1. and one. Uh, we played against the two teams that were in the Super Bowl. New England, we beat them. In fact, we blew them out. It was out. Philly. And Philly, mm -hmm. the very next week or the week before, I forget. Yeah, I beat T.O. Yep, yeah. and, I remember that. And then uh, we beat them. Um, so we definitely had, like, the talent. Mm -hmm. um, once we saw them, obviously had uh, uh, both of them in the Super Bowl. Um, but that next year, as, as we were talking about earlier, to me, like, seeing Ben make those plays uh, – in Cincinnati, you know, uh, in, in in Denver and in Indianapolis, in the playoff run, mm -hmm. to me was like this: like he can legitimately carry a team as well. Right. So you yeah. so 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 in talking about that next year, y'all go eleven and five. Uh, the next year, I think you, which you started with Cincinnati, uh, you go to Indy, and then you go to Denver. Right. Out of, so, the top, out of the top five offense, we had four of them in the playoff. Right. Run. Right. Y'all had four of them in the playoff run, and so, like, you get to that point after going fifteen and one the year before, and now being a wild card team, were you were you more confident though because you know you had faced teams like that, you had gone fifteen and one, you felt like you were a game away the year before, or, or was it or was it some a little bit of like apprehension, like I don't know if we can do it because last year we fifteen and one and we lose to the Patriots. We felt like we can do it. I think what put us over the hump was TJ shining his shoes when they came into Pittsburgh. Yeah. And he wiped his shoes with a terrible towel. And people I, don't, people, but people actually, they don't forget it. Nobody in Pittsburgh forgets right. that. But like they don't understand like the level of disrespect that that is though. Like that's, that's, that's like disrespecting the city, wrong bro. Wrong place, wrong time, man. But, hey, come on, man. What are you saying nowadays? People don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible town, man. Right. Somebody kneels before a terrible town. Yeah. Pittsburgh might have a friend. Right. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> dog. No. No. So y'all was really hot about that. No, nah, but Coach Cowell. So Coach Cowell used to have these uh, meetings before we went to bed before the day before. Four. Okay. And Coach Kyle showed what TJ did in the tunnel in Pittsburgh. You know, I, I think the difference, though, too, man, is like we were still really young. Right. Like it wasn't like we were like 10 year vets, like, gosh, man, are we going to ever get another chance? You know what I mean? Like we were young and and maybe a little ignorant and like expecting that it would happen again. But the, but the, 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 but the naivety is good, though. You yeah, but we also were like, like, we also were really hungry. Like mm -hmm. it was, it was like a, because it wasn't only us being like second year. There was a lot of like fifth year guys mm -hmm. at the time that were just coming in their peak. Uh, James Ferrier was at a point in his career where it was being questioned, coming from uh, the, Jets. the Jets. Right, right. Um, so it was like a real culmination of a lot of like young, hungry guys, guys in their career trajectory that, that really wanted to make I a I think the vets well. at the time understood we needed the young bucks. Right. Yeah. So they embra they embraced us. It won't like... Yeah, but like I'm going to say this though, IT, you know, because like, like we'll get around to like when I became a part of the Steelers though, like they, like y'all wasn't like welcoming, bro. You know no, what I'm saying? No, it, like, it, I got, I got, I got, I, 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 I felt like, I felt like this people needed to prove stuff. But, the, but the, what's interesting, though, but this is, this is the process of it being formed. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the first year, the group that, that, that we ended up winning the Super Bowl with, though, was all scout team. Like, we were all scout teams. Mm -hmm. We were all special right. teams. Almost Right. Most of so the like right. everybody who we all be Seattle. No, 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 no. I'm everybody who my, started when you came. Our rookie year, that okay. was a disappointing year. Like right. all those starters, we were teams. all special teams right. players. Okay. So we were all on punt return, right. Game, right. you know, right. going through the misery. Right. We were all on scout team, right. trying to make the offense miserable. You were also a terrible scout team player, bro. But terrible but yeah. good in a way. 
No, he's trash, bro. I'm talking about <laughs> he like he can get bent all. Yeah, they up. didn't want him to play scout. Team. Right. You also saw the probably the worst part of my scout team. I mean, like <laughs> earlier, like earlier in my career, like it was about that. You know what right. I'm saying? Because we also had a lot to prove internally. It's like, right. oh, you want to question us? You don't think we deserve to play? Right. You know right. What I mean? right. Right. Like, right. Right. Like I'll show you in scout team. Right. Aside from the fact is, man, I am making plays in the game. Mm. I got to make plays somehow. Okay. Let me make it I in scout team. Yeah, um, so, to me, that's where that that bond was really formed. Mm. It was like, okay. We go, we go six and ten, I think it was, or something like that. And then the next year we go fifteen and one, right. and then that's still coming closer. Correct. And then we go through an, even another like really adverse year where it's like, oh, guess what? You know, like loser like go point, home. Like that was the point with you. So yo, it was seven and five, right? It was loser go home. We had a loser go home the last like four games of the year. Okay, and they're like really good teams. Um, Chicago was a turnaround yeah, sh- game. Yeah, Chicago. That was when Jerome ran over uh, Erlacher. Erlacher. Yep, I remember that. So to me, like, like it also, I I think that the different personalities of the of of the defense when you were there mm-hmm. was definitely more took on the personality of 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 you of us being a little bit older of mm-hmm. Potsy of, of James right, Ferrier right. being a little bit more. But that earlier man, it was like a band of like. No, okay. y'all seen like misfits, girl. Okay, okay. So, 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 like, so wow. after, so, 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 we were like misfits. Like, you know what so, I remember so the, the most? After. I mean, cut y'all. I remember the most about, well, not the most, but was B Mac when they kept throwing at him in Indy, mm-hmm. right? It was Reggie Wayne, I believe right, it was, right, and right. they kept going at B Mac, and like he stood up every yeah. time. But we, yeah. but, but we were like, we were a band of misfits because we were also young, we were angry, right? Like. So the, to me, a, a real indication of that is we win the Super Bowl, and the following year was a w- was was not a good year. For us. Okay, so so speaking of that, right? I don't mean to cut y'all off. Yeah. The following year is when I became a Steeler. Right. Right. And what did we do that year? What did we lead the league in that year? Penalties. Did we? Personal fouls. Personal fouls. By far. Well, far first from- off, first off, because they hated us. I'm not gonna like, and we did stupid stuff. But I remember, so that summer, right? I got there in the summer. The only person I was tight with was uh, TC, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> but me and TC, remember me and TC were battling to see who started. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, Potsy, James Ferrier, he throws, he like has a cookout at the house. So I come to the cookout. Nobody talks to me. I'm trying to have a conversation. Like, I'm trying to have a conversation with, like, Potsy outside. He's not talking to me, bro. And and Casey, like, Hamp, Hamp Casey Hampton, Hamp is the nicest guy on the team. Yeah. He's not talking to me. And, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, I was like, man. She's like, who is you? Right, yeah. right, right. But it would, like, so I, you I know like, what? You know, I were replacing C Hope. Like, I hated it would, y'all. It would, it would be the same thing uh, if, if, if Sean left and I came in. It's like, who this guy is? Right. He thinks he's right. Sean? Right, right, this right. This guy right. ain't Sean. Correct. Ain't nobody Correct. like Sean. <laughs> right, 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 right. So it was that, too. You right. know what I mean? It was like Chris was such a tight part of us as well. You know what I mean? Right. So that I think that there was that aspect of it, too. You know what I mean? It was like, it was like who's the new guy? Right. You know what I mean? But but we were also so tight because it had formed as well, and we were young and ignorant, too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't know... Uh, uh, the importance necessarily as much of team camaraderie and being mm-hmm. accepting in our role of like what it is to navigate because when we came in we didn't have like when other rookies came in we would take them in we paid for the rookie dinners right you know what I'm saying right. like we, we we openly accept like Mike Logan took me in and right the Shay Town took me in so I don't think we were even at a point in our career where we thought we could take anybody in correct no I to remember to be honest no, like, 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 hey, I can't teach nobody anything I, so, I don't know nothing and so the off season IT and, and TP I would drive up from Virginia every week so I would drive up on Monday, stay there Monday through Thursday, and go home. I remember, bro, I would go home and I'd be like, "Yeah, man, like these dudes hate me." I was <laughs> like, "Man, I was like, I don't ever know if I'm ever gonna be a part of it." And so, and so, um, bro, I swear to you, man, that's how I felt my whole rookie year. But this is to me an indication of, of the truth of NFL football. Is man, you gotta produce to get respect, right? And when and and different teams have different 
values of production. Right. The value that we produce is, is he going to lay his body on the line? Correct. Yes. That, the, the, that, that, that's what was different about us. It wasn't necessarily yeah. about like how many plays you will make. It was like, what are you willing to do when you're to hurt. make those plays? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, like, what, what, like what will you give? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, and so like, and so like that was so, I remember, um, Cincinnati, right? You ended up picking this ball off. They were on a skinny post. Uh, I ain't know I picked that thing. Yeah, off. so so I, I ain't picked too many of them. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> so I, I hit the receiver. The ball bounces up. You catch it. And I remember it was Debo. So James Harrison runs up to me. He's like, "Yeah, now you finally a Steeler." And I can lie, like to me, like that was important. You know, I was like, "Damn." Like, like, finally, like, like y'all boys, like y'all boys rock with me. You know what I'm saying? And so we go through that season. That was Cowards last year, right? So we're eight and eight. The next year comes, I'm in a position better as Anthony Smith, right? So, Smith. so, so I beat out Smitty and they tell me though, but, like but another amazing talent, amazing talent, yeah, like, like, like Sean, like, uh, sorry, Smitty, cause he'd hate for me to say this about him, but like, <laughs> Again, like when I talk about like gifts that people have, man, he had the Sean Taylor package, not like Sean Taylor. Yo, no, no. He had the package, like man, this Sean guy Taylor plays cousin. the run like this. This guy yeah. plays the pass like Ed Reed. You know what I mean? That's, Hands, that's like the gift. ball yeah, skills. Yeah. He he had everything. And yeah. so like I remember um, when I won the position and them telling me we were going to alternate. Like I understood it. I was like, I know I'm a better football player than him. I said, but I also can see why you like him so much. You know, and so then uh, we go to Denver. I make the joke on the way to Denver. I was like, uh, I hope, you know, nothing's wrong with me. I hope I come back home. Right. Right. And so we get on the plane and I was like, I tell Ryan, I was like, Ryan, my, my spleen hurts. And so he laughs at me. Right. He's like, what do you know about your spleen? Ryan, Ryan Monday. Ryan no, not Ryan Monday. No, the, uh, the trainer. Okay, tall Ryan. Tall Ryan. What's Ryan like? I don't even remember his last name, right? So I okay, tell him, okay, okay. right? So he sends Doc up. So Doc's checking on me, and they go, "You need to get off the plane." You know, and I was like, "Oh, you're talking cool. on the way back." On the way back, on the way back yeah, from yeah. Denver, it's like you need to get off the plane. Like you need to go to the hospital. You know, so I go to the hospital, and then, you know, obviously I had a, I had a, a sickle cell crisis, and all of these things happened. But I just remember being like, I want to play, and them telling me like I could play. You know, and like my, my my very vivid memories about being in a the hospital, there are two of them. Uh, the first one was Troy came over after y'all played Cleveland on a Sunday and he basically just cried and prayed the whole time. Like it was it was right. definitely it was definitely not like an uplifting experience. Right. I was like, I'm really gonna die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, I was like, I was like, this boy that came here, hey man, they he put you under the knife. Yeah, I was like, I was like, he didn't give me no hey, positive reinforcement. Hey. You know what I'm saying? And then that one percent that don't return, bro. Yeah, right. He's like, you might not make it. And then I remember y'all came over. I got to practice one day, and then y'all be like, RC, I ain't even gonna lie. I thought you was finna kick the bucket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like that's and dog, that's like that's all I remember about that year though, because I was like, nah, man, like it's different here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't at that point, I couldn't do anything for y'all as far as football. But let's was keep concerned. it real, like you almost lost your life. Right, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like, like you almost lost yeah, your life. Right? Don't put me out there like I wasn't like like sympathetic <laughs> for your cold or something no, like I that. Was, man. Yeah. You no, almost I, lost your life, right. man. Like, but I was asking oh, for some encouragement, guys. Yeah, yeah. Like, y'all didn't, y'all didn't come with no yeah. encouragement. I'm like, y'all was as sad as I was. You know what I'm saying? I need some help. I did. I, did. I, did. I, did. I was. I right, was. So. I was clowning. You guys told me it was the final right. <laughs> <laughs> I was clowning. One thing people don't know about, and it's funny, like, when somebody got hurt, you used to, either used to laugh or be like, bro, you need to hurry up and get up. 100%. Like, 100%. Like, you wasted TV we, time. Hey, we were the problem with new concussion protocol. Correct. Oh, Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we were, we didn't, you I didn't believe in concussion. Like, you need to hurry up and like, get up, bro. Hey, I was like, hey, hey, say your neck hurt. <laughs> <laughs> say your neck hurt. That's how, that's how it was, but oh, man. that was the beautiful thing about it, man. Like, we just, we just cared for each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a, it was a, it was a genuine care. Like, you messed the play up. It hurt at you to walk back to the home. Oh, man, it was terrible. It looked, it looked the 10 other guys. You ain't care nothing about the coaches. The coaches was wasn't going to be coaches. Right. You ain't care nothing about the fans. They wasn't going to be fans. But walking back to that huddle and looking in that huddle and see the other 10 guys, like, 
Dang, I done let my brother down. You know what? You know, you know what too though? Like was the other thing? It's like we ain't never score a lot of points. You know what I'm saying? So I always felt like it was so much pressure on us, like to to, to make sure yeah. people didn't score points. And so we come back in a way, you know, after I get out of the hospital. And 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 she would like to me we're the best defense like I've ever seen statistically T- statistically like yes. we're the best defense I'd ever seen, but I also remember like the the stress of being like we might have to win this game eleven to ten, right. yeah you know what I'm saying like we beat the we beat the Chargers it was eleven ten yeah you know and 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 thinking about that but I try to explain to people I would walk into stadiums and truly feel like. This team might not score against us. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And like, shout out to Ray yeah. Horton. No, Ray was oh, cold. Man. Ray yeah, was cause, cold because Ray Horton put us Ray formation wise. He put us on the whole Ten, another tips, level. tendencies, tips, tendencies. Yeah. First, second, it was third, it man. was uh, you know all the coaches that year actually. Right. Man, of course, Coach Horton being the leader in our room, um, but. Man, that that year, uh, we definitely put it put together, put it all together, man. It was crazy, bro. Yeah, D, uh, James Harrison, man. You know, like there are periods of time where I think players are the best ever. Like, like to like in our 2010. Um, I don't think I don't think anybody in the history of football was better than Aaron Rodgers in that period of time. Correct. Like, hey, correct. I know. Yeah, you know, yeah you know, I know. Unfortunately, man. Yeah, I know. But just like his touch, everything was the most perfect. Uh, everything. Right. He was. Um, he was in a different zone. To even me, amongst the best. That year, actually, you could say the same thing for James Harrison as well, man. Because like. Some of the things that I saw him do, taking on four blockers at, at a time crazy, and still bro. trying to, and also, you know, legit, legitimately being held, you know, like they had, the, the game yeah. had to evolve because they were, you know, hooking the way they were blocking them. So to me that year, man, uh, again, very much like Sean Taylor, dominate on special teams. Yep. That's how James started. Yep. yep. And so, okay. So, you know, IT, you weren't a part of this, right? So. We get to the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. When when two men, right, me and Troy, I, we obviously studied film. We knew we was getting China seven, right. So me and this dummy, we break on the seven. They throw the the, the quick under to Fitzgerald. They burn the piss out of us. Yeah. One, cause he was fast. Two, cause me and him ate Jamaican food right. the entire week, right. Right? right. And so then we get to the end of the game. We're up. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. So, Kurt Warner, he, he Kurt Warner <laughs> drops back to throw the to th- throw the hail mary. Woolley knocks it out. So me and TP run up to each other at the game. I'm running toward like the stands. He goes, RC, where you going? <laughs> right. But then he goes, bro. I was so scared. <laughs> he was like, he's like, I thought that Larry Fitzgerald was gonna jump over our heads. So and don't, win the don't, Super. don't forget what Fitz was doing that playoff. He was, oh, was doing Jerry Rice. He was doing was Jerry crazy. Rice oh, numbers. Man. Yeah, <laughs> like I watched yeah, him yeah. get double and triple team, and he was winning games by right. himself. He was, he was Randy Moss. Yeah. So what, when crazy. I had to go against him, I'm like, I'm decent, but <laughs> he way more decent. <laughs> He's way, he way right. more decent. Like, he's he's decent Right, right, right. He's way more decent than me. So, understood. He had a historical playoff run, too. No, they, and well. the, so, the, the fate he catches in the corner where you had your hand on the ball. He he said, it's I, my, I practice in sand. Right. You practice in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was what he right. told me on that. Duh, and so, like, that was so, so crazy. But, like, I just remember looking at Troy, though, at the Lamar and knocked that ball out. We were both so relieved, bro. Like, we were so happy. Yeah, I knew it was going. Pretty, no, I, he was going to jump over right here. I'm pretty confident we would have been on the other end of the <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not betting money on me, man. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I probably, okay. In my prime, <laughs> no, I was bro, not. Bro, you were saying because you were 245. No, but that was your prime of your life, though. <laughs> supposedly, <laughs> that's the, that's what's so funny about right, it, man. Right. Supposedly, but I wasn't, man. It was it was it, it was evidently clear if you watch the tape, man. I, I yeah, we were, we were not at our best at that yeah, time. At that point. I don't know. Maybe it was like a little bit of like, man, some crazy war moves that the Arizona Cardinals did, man, because. That Jamaican food was hit. It was so good. I it was so good. Every single hey, day. Hey, so, you know, we remember like, we shared cars. So, oh me and TP man. shared a car. No, every night, RC, 
You want Jamaican food? <laughs> and so, like, we walk in. The people would shut down after we left, bro, because we bought 20 plates. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we would just sit in the room and eat, and it was like, I was like, bro, like, we're doing too much. And then when Larry Fitzgerald ran off on us, I was legit that mad was with him. I was, no, I was mad with him. I was like, dog, this is your fault. Right, but it is—it really was only an extension. I, I burped up jerk chicken. <laughs> right. Hey, <laughs> right, but it really was—it really was an extension of uh, Andrew's vacation. Do you remember that? Oh, oh no. man. So in 07, I, I'm sorry. Right? <laughs> so he was hurt, right, and I was sick. So like once I had my surgery, they started letting me come on like the trips. I mean, I was 160 and none right. of my clothes fit. So right. I'd be there, right. right? So me and TP, we wake up on Sunday because we play night games all the time. We exactly. wake up, we go to church, and then we go eat. And so like we just called it like injured vacation. That's basically <laughs> what Super Bowl was though for no, us. You know oh what I'm saying? yeah, no question, man. No question because. First of all, man, you're cooped up in Pittsburgh. You know what I mean? Like, right. it's, it's easy to stay in the routine, man. I was on vacation. You know, like I, there was also a level of confidence that that defense had. It was like it was different. Though. It was, yeah. you know, like the, to me, it was also the style of offense fit us. We, we ended up not playing so well. You know, obviously in the game, um, just like we, 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 we were good for like three quarters. And then it we was, sucked. But it was below our expectations. One hundred percent. Like we didn't we we, we we know that we had a, to to satisfy Coach Bo there were some things yeah. that needed to be met and, and we those were met. But we didn't do um, that. yeah. Anyway, that that that, that trip was uh was, the, was pretty the, fun. So I remember though, like there's like there's a, this video every time somebody shows that Super Bowl, it's me on the sideline and I got my hands like on my head like this. Because I am thinking at that moment, like we were one of the greatest defenses of all time, and we game. lost the suit. So picture, <laughs> it was gonna be our fault, dog. No, no, picture you thinking that that was that was when Fitz caught that on a two under, right? And I was like, I was sitting on the sideline, like. <laughs> I see where the Pittsburgh Tribune is going. <laughs> I ain't Taylor lost the Super Bowl. I ain't Taylor lost the entire oh, game, bro. Steelers. Bro, I, I went. I went to Tone. I said Tone. I said Antonio Holmes. I went to Tone. I was like, Tone, I ain't never asked you for nothing. <laughs> I need this. I need this. But please, please, <laughs> please. Like, bro, I got real religious. Like, you know how you fake cry? Yeah. Like, I, I said. All right. <laughs> and your lip get the shiver right, right, right. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no, but bro, I need you this this drive right here. No, and and and, and what's so crazy is like that, like that defense obviously was one of the greatest of all time. But I remember Coach Tomlin coming over to us after they score, after Santonio catches that ball. And, like, he actually had to give us a pep talk because we were all, like, none of us cared that Santonio had scored. The only thing we cared about was the fact that this game's only close because we, we messed paid, it up. Yeah, because right. we Because, like, we, we messed it up. And, like, I remember Coach T was like, you know, if we win this, this is still a legendary defense. And I remember thinking to myself, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. like, I was like, I was like, we supposed to win this game because of us. Correct. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was never a game I went into and was like, hey, man, Ben and Tone going to save us. I was like, nah, we know Mitch Burgers going to punt the ball 20 yards every time. <laughs> right? We're going to have a short field. <laughs> hey, we know we're going to have a and short field. Defend it. And we're going to defend it. And so, like, to me, man, like, that, that, that junk was just, it was so crazy. But, like, in, in thinking about our careers, I think about that win, but I remember the loss against Green Bay more. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember waking up that next morning and having to do interviews and and truly and truly having to register that I never ever thought we'd lose. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I, I just I just never like I was like, I don't care who we play, like this is what we do. Right. Like obviously, you know, y'all had one in 05, we had one in 08. We back in 2010. And at that time, remember, that's when we was having those run of like 12 and 4 seasons, mm -hmm. like back to back. And I was just like, nah, like, we're not gonna lose. And we go into halftime. I think it's 21-7, and Coach T's talking. Cause remember, we were down to Baltimore like that too. Right. And we came back and won. Right. Yeah. You know, and Coach T was like, nah, dog, this is gonna be epic, whatever, whatever. And it started happening, and then Rashard fumbles when he gets hit. And I was yeah. like, damn. Like, like, like we might, we might lose this. Right. Like that, like that, that, that never, that was never something that registered to me. And so at that point, y'all had already won two. When when you think back to the to the Green Bay, 
like, do you think about like how different my legacy is? Do you think about the fact that you got three rings or is the loss just enough for you to be like, nah, it's not, you know, it's not it. We always said three was better than two or sounded better than two. 100%. And when we lost that one, like me and Troy, me and Troy stayed on the field and we got roped off. And they ain't hit us till we got roped off. So we saw the winning team crowd onto the field, saw the confetti come. Families out there. See everybody crying and happy and we get roped off. It was like, dang, we was in this position twice. Mm. And now I see how to lose it. The other side. So it ain't hit us till really we got on the bus. We took a shower, got on the bus, and we saw like some kids who got suspended. Oh, I remember that. Bro, I'm talking about we saw, I cried. That's probably the hardest I ever cried a day in my life, but I cried. I stopped crying because you cried <laughs> over me. No, 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 You cried so loud. You cried so loud, I stopped crying, man, no. I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried like a baby. But just seeing that, um, it made me hungry and won't get back to it. Like, I ain't never want to have that feeling again. Like. And we used to talk about this. I think we talked about this a few times before. I would rather, if you could tell me the future, not make it to the Super Bowl if you tell me I'm going to lose. 100%. Then make it to the Super Bowl. I agree with that. I because agree with that. Kick me out totally. the playoffs before I go to the Super Bowl and lose. Because that feeling, you really can't describe. Right. That feeling, it's a, it's a, it's a death. It just, it just, it felt like it's a death kind of feeling. Right. Yeah, it felt like the whole season was a waste. Correct. It was a waste. Correct. It was a waste. And it's yeah. like, man, I got to do another season that may be a waste. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right. And, like, so. the other thing is, too, though, you know, every team doesn't enter training camp and b- truly believe they can win the Super Bowl. I felt like every time I went to training camp with y'all, I was like, man, like, this could be the year again. You know, like, 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 like we could still do it. And I think that was the part that hurt me the most because, like, we had got there. You know, like, 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 like we were there and, and, you know, we actually, we just happened to hit like a hot Aaron Rodgers. To your point, but we RC, were the better team, though. To, be, to your point, and you said this earlier when you was talking about Aaron Rodgers, like, it was some times we came back to the sideline and he was throwing on zip lines. It was and nothing we could do. Was like, it's nothing we can do, can do, bro. Like, he's just in the Matrix. Bro, yeah, yeah. right now, bro, y'all I, witnessing greatness bro, I, and, 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 right like, in front like, of you. Like, I've told this story many times. Dog, for two weeks, like y'all know how I was about film. For two weeks, I planned an interception. I knew when Greg Jennings was at three and they saw split safety defense that they were going to run, like they were going to run him up the seam, right? And I think you was on the backside, so I locked you on the backside. IT. I took off at the snap, bro. Like it wasn't, like I, I, I didn't hesitate, I didn't wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just went. He put it at a spot. At a spot we couldn't get it. And think about that. So later on in the game, the same thing happened. Like, we were just, like, we we, we were facing a dude that was in a zone that, that not many people ever get into. Right. You know? TP was banged up. And it was just like, like that, like that, that was not, like, Pouncey was hurt. Right. Right? So when Pouncey's hurt, they get pressure on the, uh, the stop and go to Mike, which should have been a touchdown. Nick Collins picks that and he scores. Yeah, you know, we try to get Marquise to play that game. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But, Everybody did. Yeah. No, no, I bet mean, Mike. Mike, yeah, Mike. Mar- uh, oh, Marquise, yeah. We try to get Mike. <laughs> we try to get Mike to play that game. Like Mark, right. But just reach out to your brother, man. Yo, look the same. Right, 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 right. We need you. Like and then, like yeah, and then, yeah. like that's where we were. And so, you know, you think about like all these experiences, right? Uh, like we started eight years together. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the same three people. Um, I remember. When Troy went to the Pro Bowl, it was actually after the Super Bowl, you know, he took me and my family because the year before he took everybody and I couldn't go because I was sick. And Richard Sherman comes up to me on the grass and he's talking about, and this is his rookie year, he's like, man, eventually I'm going to be a Pro Bowler and this and that. And he said, he's like, we watch y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, we want the Legion of Boom to be what the Pittsburgh Steelers are in the secondary, which was strange to me because like when I saw it, we had one star, 
right? You say all the time, he's Michael Jackson. We Jackson Five. We the Jackson Five, <laughs> right? Like, 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 like that was always the thing. And the other part around that being the thing was we were comfortable in it. Correct. Like I was very comfortable in doing my job. Correct. That allowed him to do his job. Correct. Like you were very comfortable in knowing you gonna follow the number one. It's gonna be some times you by yourself. Like, like, like that. That was the job. That was what we had to do. To win. We was cool with our role. We was cool with our role. And so like when I hear somebody be like, nah, we wanna be like y'all. You know, like 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 we wanna watch y'all. It brings me back to my last home game. And I remember telling y'all, I was like, look, like, let's all walk out together. You know, I was like, let's not go out individually. Cause I knew I was done. Right. Like I knew I wasn't. What gave gonna you come that out. feeling? Well, how you know you was done? Um, I I I wasn't as good that year as I'd always been. You know, like 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 I knew I knew that year I didn't play as well as I had played the year previous. Like the year previous was probably my best year. TP was hurt, and so I got to like do a lot of different things. Right. You know, and I think I put my I put a lot of pressure on myself the next year to be as good as I was the year before, and I wasn't. You know, and so like I just talked to my agent. I was like, man, I know it's it. You know, and and for me, I was like, I don't want to. I was like, I need a moment with 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 y'all. Like I need a moment with 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 them. Because like like that had become my life, you know. Um, y'all never played for like different teams, right? You know, so I played for three different teams. Like I understood that Giants, what, Giants, Redskins, Washington, Washington, and y'all, yeah, yeah you know. And so like I understood things I think y'all didn't that every place wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? And I had. You well, know, I think we did because we heard it enough coming from everybody who was coming from different teams. Right, you know. Like, we see why y'all win, we see y'all why, and why I, y'all have the brotherhood. And I felt the same way. And so, like, to to, to get that moment, man, and, and to be with y'all in that, like, that was, like, that was just so important to me. You know, like, I remember when Troy won Defensive Player of the Year, I was actually, because remember, Dallas was terrible that week, right? The, oh, the, the yeah. snow, the ice, all that. So I was actually sand on a highway. Stupid. They had no idea I did. <laughs> so I'm sitting at the bar at the restaurant eating. Uh, Troy wins defensive player of the year. It comes across the screen, and I text him, and I was like, "Man, congrats, man! Like I'm so proud of you, you know." And like he sends me back, and he's like, "He's like, nah, man. Like I couldn't. He's like, I couldn't do this, or this doesn't happen without you." And to me, like that was like that was one of those moments in my life where I was like, okay, what we all have is different. Like the way we see it is different. You know, like we always saw him as like outer worldly to us. Right. But he always saw himself as like part of part of what we all do. Right. And if we didn't do it all together, like he couldn't be who he was. And I think that's what made us like that's what made us made us great, you know. Um I'm on the beach with him in Miami uh, before the Hall of Fame selection. And I'm like, yeah, man, when you make it, win, win, win. And he's like, oh, we don't know. I was like, man, shut the hell up. <laughs> like, I, like, I wanted to fight him on the beach. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, TP, TP, like, I get you got to play, like, this humble stuff in front of, like, other right. people. Like, dog, you finna make it. Real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we and saw then, that first year. Right. Then it was the same thing, though. He was still like, nah, thank you. I was like, Troy, like, I kind of hate you <laughs> right now. Like, I have like I have a legit issue with you. You know what I'm saying? No, and, I, I think, honestly, it, it's, 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 I state the obvious to me. That's what's, what is weird about it to me is that I just state the obvious. Um, obviously, it takes a family, in order to a family to run together, man, everybody needs to be the best of themselves. And I think that's the beauty of what we had is like, Ike was the best at what he did. You were the best at what you did. I was the best at what I did. Coach Bo was the best for all of us. Right. For James, for, you know, for James Ferry, or for Larry, for Timmons, you know, for Casey Hampton. Um, it, is a, it, it is a blessing. I almost say sometimes I wish that, that, that three to me is the dynasty and that's the that's that's ah, the unfortunate thing is that we can never call ourselves a dynasty mm-hmm. um uh because of that because i i do think that that defense needs to be recognized as a dynasty because it is the perfect example of team defense mm-hmm. um by the most perfect coach that teaches that by the coach that invented it 
you know so like to me it was just like it, it's almost like I, I see it as you put the dream team in as a team like that's how I look at it I'm no different role like like take me out of the equation we still don't succeed take Ike out of the uh, equation James Harrison you know what I'm saying like they're, they're, these are our, our people and the beauty about it to me as well is that you represent the Steelers shirt too mm -hmm. because um, this role that I occupied at one time was Carnell Lake's role right. Rod Woodson's role right. it was something that, that was also carried on uh, down the line but anyway, I'm, um, but yeah, I'm rambling. Sorry. No, I like rambling. Like I, I think, I think though, the the big thing about what what we had was unselfishness. You know, and I, and and I think like that like that part is is lost upon people. Like even like even you like you we understood that you had to be a certain thing in order for us to be good. But it wasn't in a way of selfishness, like I want to magnify me. It was that that's what we needed, you know, like the, the, the sacrifices I had to make and the way he had to play defense in order for us to be good. You know, me understanding the, the that the pressure like, that man. Yeah, I, I think it's. You'd, you'd really have to understand the ins and outs of our defense to understand the amount of pressure that not only we like we put on Ike, mm. I would say, most importantly me, because I felt like I was the one that had to, <laughs> like, Ike, I see something. Can you please? Can you do this? Man, right, man, right, 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 can right, you, right, right, right. Can you turn this, uh, but, this but, deep, ha you know, this, 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 this deep half into, into a man, man to man. zero? It's so a zero, so right, obviously right. that would make me a free player. <laughs> Right. So, you know, I make a play. Yeah, yeah, Troy made a play. Well, who actually made the play? Ike. Right. So that's what that's the reality of it. And some people don't see that. And there's also other plays that, like, to me, that I admire that I made the play, but I wasn't the end result of the play. Mm -hmm. It was like, uh, hey, uh, James, I'm going to take the tackle, which frees you up on the tight end. Mm -hmm. He gets a sack, man. I feel joy for that you right. know what I mean that's where I felt the most joy um so anyway you see like 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 that that was at least I felt like I remember being selfish in mindset you know like always wanting to pick always wanting to make the big play because I felt like I was I had to prove something yeah yeah you know what I'm saying like that changed when I got with y'all you know what I'm saying? Like if Ike made a play, if if you made a play, if 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 if, if Debo got a sack, I was like, that's that us. Goes, I wanted, that goes I wanted, to the you know what's so funny, man, is I felt like I wanted to impress you guys. Um, that to me is what is like, man, I've got to impress them. You know, like mm -hmm. they, like that was in, or like. Oh man, they need to play. They need to play. I want to be the one to make the play. You know, I want right. to be the one to impress TP, you guys. TP, that's how we looked at. You. Hey, you remember? Remember, 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 remember me, 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 me I, we were like, hey, oh, hey we man, you need to some like, like some TP stuff. Like, yeah, we <laughs> like TP to make a play. Yeah, like you need to do some of this stuff, dog. Yeah. Like, hey. Like we in this game because we right. playing well. I know you be talking to him up there. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Tell him to help us downhill. Yeah, can you do like some of that stuff you could do right. that we can't, right. so we could win this game? And like that was. Like that was used to, what used to be so cool about everything, though. We understood each other so much. Correct. You asked the question earlier. When did you know it was over? Right. Mm -hmm. This is something I actually never told anybody because this is when I actually knew it was over for me. Um, we were playing against the Indianapolis Colts this, the, during my last year. Okay. I wasn't there. Y'all, y'all yeah. kicked me out at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Them boys did upstairs. And so this also to me is an indication like to, to me what I value like greatness as well because I talk about like Tom Brady. We, we were talking about it earlier how his greatness comes from consistency. You know, he sees other people that are successful and he doesn't think like uh, Cam Newton does this great scrambling. Let me let me, let me incorporate that. Let me incorporate right. that. It's just him. You know, um, I looked at it almost the exact opposite. I looked at it like, oh, man, Ed Reed's great. Let me incorporate that into my game. Oh, man, that didn't work. Or, oh, wow, that worked. Right. I did this. That, that's why I studied all that. I, I looked at Bob Sanders. Oh, how does he cut tackle? I looked at, at um, corners, how to play. Man, I looked, you know, I, I studied a, a, a lot of different people. So to me, it was always like the, the, the fun 
things of being able to incorporate these sort mm-hmm. of, uh, of things in my game and or not and being really innovative on 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 moving I mean, being able to adjust different positions right, right, right. being a, uh, um, innovative on on even like imp- like I wanted to impress the coaches this mm-hmm. is this is why I started like like for me to like if, if I were to rush what Costa Boy used to always say is if it if anybody gets on the running back, that's considered a win. Right, because you got the one on one. Yeah, so, so it's when you're pass rushing. For me, I know that's not a win. Uh, with all due respect, like, there's some amazing running back uh, uh, blockers out there, you know, like Clinton Portis, yep. uh, MJD. MJD. Yep. Um, uh, but like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like so, like right. to me, it wasn't it wasn't a win. So, what was a win for us though was getting James Harrison on, on a running back. I got or, you. Or getting a defensive lineman on the running back. So, to me, I always wanted to impress Coach LeBeau because I'm like, oh, Coach LeBeau, I'm going to take your defense a little bit, and I'm on, I want to manipulate this to get the matchup that you wanted originally. <laughs> right, 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 right. And that's what I would do. So, I was doing these sort of things. So, anyway. Kosovo gave me this freedom to to do that because I was I, I learned all the different positions, including defensive linemen, right? Mm-hmm. So when I knew it was done, is when I got a position where I'm like, oh, let's go, I can innovate. You know, let me let me move some things around, and I and I looked at the D lineman. I'm like, did that? I look at the nickel, already done that. I look at the safety. I'm like. I've done it all. There's nothing more for me to 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 innovate upon. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So then I was like, I'm done. You Kobe George. I'm yeah, you, yeah. You like you like that. So there, to there, me, there, no I, next reached, step. I reached my limit on creativity. On like, oh my god, like you know, like being able to show in the A gap, go do the deep half. Right. I've already done that. You know what I'm saying? Like I've given that look before. So to me, it was just like, oh, you know, let me do this other look. To me, it was just like being able to innovate on that mm-hmm. on, on that level. So to me, that's why I go back to the greatness. Is greatness actually comes from consistency, but greatness can also come from innovation. Mm-hmm. But I reached the point when I knew I was done because yes. I had lost the ability to innovate. Right. While that's I crazy, was playing. Bro. Right. So when I saw that, I'm like, oh my God, I'm done. I can't go play corner now. <laughs> right, right. I can't go safety. Right. So now I was like, I can't innovate. And that's when I knew. I was like, oh, man, this is probably going to be my this last year. probably it. But, you know, I think, yeah. you know, when, like, you're, you're probably this is it is a different probably this is it, you know. So like, you go from, he go from, and we talked about this. So he go from great to good. Good's not which, good enough. Which for me, I was okay to good. Yep. Good's not so good enough for him. For when he's great for a long period of time mm-hmm. in the Aries and them boys who are in the Hall of Fame, once they go from great to good, it's like oh, they're, they're like they're, like that there's and it's sad, there's almost no worth correct. anymore. Like 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 they don't look at like if you can't do what you've always done, correct, then then you're no longer what we need, correct. what 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 we expect. Yes. And so, you know, like I kind of mentioned early, uh, you know, about the Hall of Fame. Uh, I'm going to be there. I know you're going to be there. Right. What are you most looking forward to, man, uh, about this? And are you even looking forward to it, bro? Because I'm going to be honest. When I saw them talk to you and you actually got emotional and and, and, and Pi was there and, and, and Frimmy was there, like that meant that like, I was excited because I feel like you never allowed yourself to accept what you'd accomplished. You but know, that's like, always been TP. That's who, that's who he is, right. and because like, you've always wanted to look at it with such humility. Um, what was it like though, having an opportunity for that knock on the door? The knock on the door. You know what? What it felt like. I felt like. Um, I have to say this slowly because I, 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 the emotions are coming back to me. But don't have me crying, man. I'm supposed to be hard. I felt. Like- <laughs> I felt like I was like I was chosen by you guys to represent our defense. That's what I kind of felt like. I felt like I was there to represent us. And here we goes. I felt unworthy to be the one representing our defense. But so that's why I cried. I'm like, why am I the one representing us? There's other people. Because I look, you guys look at my career, but I look at my life. Right. And that's why I feel so unworthy as well. But TP, we felt like you was the chosen one. Yeah. 
<laughs> no. That's how we felt. Yeah, I'm glad you guys felt that way. We honestly. felt like you was the chosen. <laughs> we felt like you was well, the thank chosen. Thank God for you guys in my life. Yeah, but, we yeah. felt like you was the chosen one. Like, like I say, when you stepped into as a rookie, when you stepped into that locker room, and this coming from Joy Porter, this coming from from Jerome Bettis, this coming from Alan Fanica, like it's, it, even me, I was like, they used to call me back home, like. Who good? I said, man, he they cold. Got, they right. Got a, they got a 43. <laughs> hey, He's going to be hey, Hall of Fame. They got a little, hey, they got a little something more in Joe Right, right, He's right. going to be Hall of Fame, but we all acknowledged and saw that you was the chosen one. So, yeah, you're 100% right, TP. Like, you, you felt like... Man. We chose you, but we really, we re- we really did show. We I saw think, it from day one. Bro. I, I think though, I think the the thing that that you miss is that, like, like we and other people didn't choose you, right? Like, you and we. I know how you believe. Like, you were chosen by something different. I think the 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 blessing in in what we all had was in acknowledging who you were we live through those accomplishments right because because like we won as a team like that was that like that was the dope part like we were a great team but the other part was though like i still remember man my senior year of high school tp uh it's the second game of the season i'm playing really well right i've been balling and another kid got the first interception for our defense you know and i remember like celebrating because i was supposed to celebrate but being pissed off like, like, nah, that's supposed to, like, like, I'm supposed to get the first pick. Selfishly speaking. Just, just like, real talk. Like, and I celebrated with him because I was happy for him. Right. But I felt those type of way because that was supposed to be me. Right. Like, I was supposed to be that guy. I think the thing that was beautiful about what we had was if Ike made a play, if you made a play. If you made a play. I felt like I made it. Right. Though, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I felt like the the work we put in, the relationship we had, like that was. I felt like it was it was all of ours. And I think what what you miss so much, and I do. Like I've always been like I hate you because like you're just too humble. It let me go to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. We'd have had all kind of parties by now. We'd have had six <laughs> damn parties already in the Hall of Fame. And here <laughs> is that like you didn't understand that like like you always gave us. Right. Like you always allowed us to be a part of your accomplishment, but we truly felt like we were, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we loved seeing that for you because to, to, to you, you you felt like you didn't deserve it or to you, you felt like we were a part of it. So it was never this thing for you that like it was like this selfish. Oh, I did this. Like we felt like we did it together, man. And so like when when you do get that jacket, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be there and I'm going to cry. And like, You know, the funniest thing, though, like, I'm the worst person to choose to represent us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, to speak on our behalf, you know, like, it's just like. So, but everybody yeah. know when you speak, it's going to come from. The heart, man. Genuinely. Yeah, heart. it's going to come from the heart. You and know so, what I'm saying? So that's what I'm looking forward to. Oh, man, I'm so. <laughs> so what? So. So when you when we all start this right uh, for us as a, as, a, as a group we started it in um, in 06, you know what is your like when you think about what we were able to accomplish who we were um, what's the thing that y'all hold on to the most about our experiences together? It's the brotherhood, man. I tell people this all the time, like. Man, coaches used to come down in the locker room and tell us be quiet nine, ten o'clock at night because we was just either playing PlayStation, gambling, or playing some kind of game in the locker room because we just wanted to be around each other. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's my memory. So people ask me all the time, "Do you miss football?" I was like, "Nah, I miss my I miss my boys." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I miss the memories. I miss the. Stay, I miss the cold tubs. I miss the sitting in the cold tubs for damn near an hour. Not to get our body right. <laughs> also, just we were talking, right? We shooting the right, right, we just, right. We just, we just fellowship. We chilling. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's only one thing I'm missing, and it's, it's the guys. Like, and we looked at Troy like, if a superstar can be that humble. We like, what fall, we gonna do? We gotta fall in line. What we gonna do? You know what I'm saying? So that's. That's how we looked at. That's how we looked at you, Troy. On, this is what I on figured that part. out. 
I've perfected false humility. <laughs> no, and so as it's, I say, behavior is a skill. No, it is. It is. And like I remember, we were talking about like some of the things that you felt like you were battling to get away from in order of of who you were, and and who and different experiences. And like I always found, I found motivation in that because it was about self awareness, right? Which football is about. Right. Like 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 I was I was very aware that I couldn't do certain things he could. do, Right. But I also knew that people thought I was really smart. People thought I was really physical and the rest of the stuff I could work on. Like I, I, I could figure that out. And so like that was like always to me. OK, how do we elevate? Like how like how do we come back better the the next year? And honestly, like that part of football made me a better man. Yeah. You know, because it's the same thing. I was, I, I used to wonder, like, how can I be more value to you? How can I be more value to you? Like, how can I be more value to my kids, my wife, and those things? And like, a lot of times it came with the self awareness that that came away from football. And so, you know, we, we're, we're headed to the Hall of Fame. If if there is a a message, or if there is one thing, TP that you want people to know about you, what are you trying to get across in that six to eight minutes? Well, I, first of all, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I did. <laughs> you didn't write, you didn't wrote so, a speech yet? What's, what's, what's tough for me, like, you know, it, it's, like I said, it, it's a representative of a lot of things. First and foremost, our careers together. That's what it is, a representation of. So I definitely, you know, want to give honor and respect to you guys as much as anybody else, but as much as me, too, is a lot of people. You know, my background comes a lot more of a foster child type background. Mm -hmm. So I've got like so many families that are that have given me food and bed and and housing and, and, and love. So it's hard to incorporate that as well. Um, so uh, I won't say not me, ultimately, because um, I don't know. People use the Hall of Fame speech for I think a lot of different platforms, mm -hmm. you know, um, to be to show gratitude to a lot of people, to share a message, you know. I think in six to eight minutes, it's hard to do all of that. You know what At I'm saying? Time. Like people right. have done that in thirty minutes. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. In short, this is what I have learned from sports in general, and particular from football, is that nothing comes easy. Um, uh, you meet, you, uh, you know, like passion for sport everybody has everybody has an initial zeal for the sport but you come to a point that it's like oh man do i really love this sport or do right. i not love this sport to me i've played all the sports growing up um i've also done martial arts to me football was the hardest sport to get over that hump right um uh but it's all it's like a military boot camp kind of sort of thing you know it's just like a ultimately is that suffering through this, suffering through training, suffering uh, through the discipline of having a diet, suffering through uh, the temptation of wanting to go out and party, to suffering through the temptation of whatever, uh, of the spotlight, suffering through the temptation of money, Ultimately, suffering um, is what we're all going to have to face. And in order to be great, uh, you have to overcome that. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's, it's, uh, it's football to me was something that, that was worth suffering for, uh, something I would have played for free. In fact, it's so funny is we get paid for 16 days of the year. Right. But we spend 349 days of our own money. Yeah. To, 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 to prepare for that. Dealer. Like, that's what I think is, like, love. It's also called investment as well, too. Right. But to me, I would have willingly done that if I wasn't being paid. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, suffering um, 
is is the most important thing. Um, and I even say that in relationships, you know, bearing one another's burdens. Um, you have to suffer. You have to be patient. You know, in the Bible, when it says uh, love is, the first thing is long suffering. Yep. So to me, suffering is love. Um, to become better at your craft, you're going to have to suffer. To be a bit better at your relationships, you suffer. That's what love is, right? You love, you bear one another's burdens, you know? Uh, we've talked a lot today, unfortunately, but we haven't brought up my wife, uh, somebody who's the epitome of love and suffering to me, um, and uh, somebody uh, who epitomized that and, and along the whole, my whole lifeline, um, uh, epitomized that and defined that to me. So um, ultimately is that uh, find something worth loving, man, and uh, you got to stick with it. Mm -hmm. So. Nah, I, um, I guess that's a, that's a good place to, to end uh, because, you know, you spoke about, you spoke about suffering. Uh, you spoke about love. Um, obviously, we've all suffered in order to be where we are but I don't think about that part I do think about the love like I think about the reason that we're all sitting here together it's because I love y'all right. um, I think about that you know at some point um, because of the way I played the game uh, I'm gonna start forgetting things you know uh, some some things are going to slip uh, my memory the thing I won't forget is y'all you know, I may forget some of the wins. Um, I hope to forget some of the losses, but I'll never forget what y'all mean to me. And that is, that's why God put us here. God put us here to be communal. I've already started to blend my career and Tom Brady's career together. <laughs> I think my last couple of years, I, I, I went to Tampa and I got a Super Bowl. <laughs> hey. Absolutely. I'm only like, I'm still balling, good, man. I'm still <laughs> balling. But I think, uh, but what I want to say to both of you, man, is uh, I'll die loving both of y'all. Um, I'm forever grateful to both of y'all. I, I appreciate that, man. I love you too. Um, it's, it's it, you know, it's something that's obviously very serious to people that have been in our profession, former football players. Um, what I've come to understand um, is that the care um, that we've given our bodies throughout our career mm -hmm. actually is the same care we have to give our body post career. Yes. Um, to me, that that is is something that I didn't know uh, going. You know, when you start getting the aches and pains and these sort of things. Um, so uh, that's what 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 I always try to tell former athletes um, is that. You know, I, I did cognitive brain games mm -hmm. while, I, while I was playing. Um, I still do those. <laughs> you got to still do those. I you still know, do those. the dieting, the health, all those sort of things um, are very important. Um, just as important as they were uh, wh while we were playing. So that to me um, is, is I think, uh, important for a lot of young athletes, especially out there that that they should know is that, man, your body is everything. You got to take care of your body. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, sleep's the most important thing. Secondly, water, diet, <laughs> training. Absolutely. You know what I mean? But um, no, it's um, it, it, it is all encompassing. And, um, you know, we're about to end. I'm not going to be a preacher that ends six times. This would be, <laughs> this would be the, 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 the ending. Um, I think what I want to say is, and I'm sure Ike echoes this, congratulations. You are, without a, without a doubt, uh, one of the greatest humans I've ever met. And the NFL has now acknowledged that you're one of the greatest players uh, to ever do it. And I love you. I love you, bro. I love you. And um, I've never been more grateful to two people. So that's it, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Yeah.
Underestimated and still I made it In the book of hard knocks I'm highly educated Nobody told me looked over but still dedicated Played in the league for 13 I ain't gotta be favored Two Super Bowls, Honolulu I stood with the greatest The thing is this, if never rich I'm good with my neighbors DB precision, television Ain't asked for no favors Numbers don't lie, neither do pictures Just look in the papers no backing down or turning back, part two of the movie Never the biggest, but it takes more than two just to move me Ain't gotta like what I'm saying, just watch me go to work And tackle all of these topics right here on Face First It's gonna be picked up, James Harrison has it He's running up the sideline You good to go? You good to go? Alright, three, two, one